And hello to everyone, I'm Hedgehog and welcome to Bermuda Lost Survival. Now this is all about a, a survival game where you're pretty much stranded here in a little life raft in the middle of the Bermuda Triangle, so in the middle of the ocean, and your aim is to survive. Now we have a couple of uh, first aid kits, we have some rations, and we have um, a crafting box. And in this crafting box we can do all the basic crafting like structures etc so we can build ourselves a full floating house or base or whatever you want to call it but for that we're going to need to dive we need to go and get ourselves some supplies so let's dive off the other thing also is we have a sleeping bag right there that's where we can actually save let me delete the old ones here we can sleep sleep is very important to keep your sanity up and then by pressing and holding tab you can see your health your sanity your food as well as your water now we magically can hold our breath for quite a long time oh okay so that is some scrap plastic what is very important but first thing we need is we need to find ourselves some stone and planks exactly now those crates you can break down and that beep is for that your oxygen is halfway so we need to go back up okay so we have the chest over there another chest okay that's a nice stack of planks the next thing we also need is stone and usually it is fairly easy to find stone okay while i'm up here if i hold e you get this little wheel and here you see knife axe spear and bottle those you need to unlock it's not like you craft them and they break and you need to craft them again once that is done uh, you have unlocked it if we go here on equipment you can see here the stone knife we need one rope three sticks and two stone that is the first thing we can get then we need two ropes five stone and five sticks to make ourselves a stone axe and that is going to allow us to much easier get the resources somewhere around here should be a larger ship there it is that's where we can see some ropes hanging and that we can easily grab and let me grab all the rope i can find at the moment Um, these items they do respawn uh, I think it is two or three times a day that they respawn so you can dive down a couple of times in order to get yourself more resources now I need stone um, there we have the, um, the sharks sharks are pretty harmless at the moment still um, they only attack you if they if you give them a reason to attack you in other words if you go fishing which we will have to do as well um, you'll be creating a blood path and if there then is any sharks around they will bite now we can go up 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 and we should be able to craft ourselves the stone knife and if we're lucky no because i only have planks and i don't have sticks so one more dive to get ourselves some sticks and on the left side you see that little backpack and it does get fuller with everything that we pick up and if you're too heavy you're having difficulties to get back upstairs and here we also have abilities you have strength three levels endurance three levels in survival three levels nine in total they will automatically upgrade that is so to say learning by doing so the more time you spend underwater and doing things and crafting things the better you get at it there we have sticks okay so now while we are here let's go to equipment and we can unlock ourselves the stone knife inventory what do i have i only have one stick i need a few more sticks okay that we salvage 10 clay 10 rope three torches oh this is going to give me a hit oh no i was just in time very good 
take the knife in hand and we harvest it and that's going to give us sticks if we harvest the same thing and we get two scrap which is also nice if we harvest the same thing with our axe then we actually get planks instead of sticks so now i can make the stone axe and i need 10 more sticks and then i can also make the stone spear which is good because that is what we need for fishing Sometimes if you pick these up, they give you extra like that, they give you seeds, or they, it's pretty much anything they can give you. If I take my axe, I can harvest this and that's going to give me scrap. In order to be able to craft anything here, this is a crafting box, we need to transfer all the items in there so now if I go here on crafting I can see I can make myself a foundation so let's craft that and then the purifier which is very important okay so now if we go to construct I can automatically just scroll down it will go through to the items and then I place this right here There it is. That's something we can now stand and walk on. Or from the water we just climb on top and we end up directly here. And the other thing I need, and let me put that there for now, is our purifier that's going to help us purify water once we have that. What are my stats like? I definitely need to eat and drink a little. Ideally, I don't want to. So I have now one of the supplies. And this is going to give me 30 water, 60 food, and it gives me a scrap metal in return. And now if I look here, at least my food and water are above normal level. Let me get a tiny bit more scrap. And what else is it that I needed? Out here, I need it out here. Two sticks, one rope I have, I need five scrap. And what do I have at the moment? Three. So I need two more scrap. Sun is nearly setting, so it really is time to head down. Oh, there we go, the new ability. The first one we get is arm strength. Get my scrap iron right here. Let's take that, because I can take it from here. Also, these plates, they have respawn. See, that gives me planks. Time to get myself a bottle crafted. improvised bottle so if I now take the bottle if I click it will fill it up and it is a magical bottle on the left side you can see two four six there we have the new ability to train lung which is usually when I get one of the first ones there we go that's 20 salt water that's a good good amount to start off with and then we go here and we can drop these literally up here and it will automatically go to work and the clean water will come right down there and that we can pick up and drink no. the only thing only way i know is right here to check what time it is at least for right now but the sun is about to set so let's go and have ourselves a good night of sleep now if we peek in here look at that now we have three water which we can take over. It also gives us salt, which is something that we are going to need later on. Let me have a look at the numbers here. I definitely need to drink. So I can put that on quick access one, two, or three. I'm going to put this on one. So whenever I now hit the one, it will automatically drink the water. What is the next thing that we're going to need to build? At least one more foundation. So let's craft that. And what else is it that I need? I need a workbench, for that I need 10 scrap. And I need a drying rack, for which I need 8 sticks. Okay, so with that in there now, let's have a look. Can I craft my workbench? Yes, I can. Can I also craft my drying rack? There's just planks and sticks, so yes, we can. Go back to storing. I pick up my foundation. 
Why did I craft another purifier? I wanted a workbench. At least I have the drying rack. So I need five more scrap. Okay, and by moving sideways you can actually rotate them. Which is good for my OCD, because that is allowing me to at least put them exactly all in the same way. Now, this is the drying rack, and that is where I can put the seaweed, and that will dry and will turn into rope. So, time to dive down and get some more scrap, because we used it on the wrong item. I need five scrap. Ah, I see two barrels there, so we are good. That's already all that we need. I'll take the rest as well. Especially in the beginning, there's a number of prolonged dives. Now I need planks. And we used to have the world here of planks. An ancient vase. Okay, so we go back here in our crafting box. I move the planks over, I got. Then we have the 10 scrap. Then now, let's try it again. Workbench, craft. Now, I don't know what I'm going to have to do with this. But we'll see. Now we construct. Yeah, I'll put another one right there. And then this is my workstation. Right there. Because this is opening up an awful lot more of new things as recipes. And now here we can also make sticks from planks. So all we now have to harvest is planks. And then with that we can make the sticks. Uh, wind chime, I'm not going to make it because it is really annoying. Standing torch, two scrap, three sticks, one rope. How's my rope doing? Look at that, the first three are there. And see, which is really easy to get. Two sticks, some scrap, I have some more rope. Okay, let me take everything to the workstation for now. And since we have some roasted fish. Let's eat some nice roasted fish. There, that I ought to bring my food back up. Yes, and look at that, my health is nice and green. That's the way we like it. Um, what do I need for my stone spear? Five stone, ten sticks and three rope. Start gathering some nice amount of seaweed so we can turn that into a lot of rope because we're going to need quite a bit of it. The 75 seaweed that will nicely turn all. Can I handle it from here? Of course I can't. I am on the hunt again for stone, if I would only remember where I found them. Here is stone. Luckily enough, we went up too deep. Oxygen is full again. There we go again. Okay, so we're now going to the deeper area. Which really means once it beeps, we need to get out. Oh, and we have a treasure. Can I open? Yes, yes, yes. There we go. We found ourselves the compass. And let me now quickly harvest these. And 
now swim 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 because otherwise yes I know I know I know I'm on it oh. so more planks I'm still short on stones though That should be enough in order to craft here our stone spear. I need 10 sticks, 3 rope, but that I have. Because I can turn my planks into sticks, I have the rope on the drying rack and it also allows me to upgrade my knife as well as my axe already. Which makes harvesting go a little bit quicker. Standing torch. Definitely crafting that. And I needed sticks. Okay, now first we build. And this is going to be this torch. It's now off, it automatically switches on in the night. So we have a barbecue bucket. And now we have equipment. First we need the stone spear and the improved spear, definitely improved axe and then improved knife. Construct. We don't have a lot of space left, we do need to definitely make more. But for now, there we have our spear. And there's a specific group of fishy fish we're looking for. Because these nice colorful ones, we can't eat them. There we have the fishy fish. Now, hunting actually is kind of fun. Because we need to charge and poke the fish. And it's not as easy as you would think it is. Poke. Doof. I want that fish, there we go. And then we need to take it off. Now, that is the blood that will attract the sharks. So if you hunting too much in the same area, sharks will start to show up. And then if you have a fish on it, um, he will definitely come to bite. There you go, that's exactly what I meant. Now it is time to get out of here and hopefully he leaves me alone now. I mean we got three fish so we have three grilled fish. That is good enough at least for today so we have some food and with that we then have our bare necessities. We have water, we have food, we have a place to sleep. We don't have a roof over our head yet though and we might need some more foundations. enough we have the plastic waste close by because I don't really want to sleep in my sleeping bag again tonight so I'm going to grab some more scrap plastic and make myself a little bit of bed there bed craft Here, look at that. Then I put my sticks in here. Let me take those. And I can put my fishy fish right in there. It takes one straight away. Now we can put items in there in order to speed up or make specific items. But And there we go. That is our torch who magically lit itself. Okay guys, so this is the bare necessities that we need. We can make ourselves some 
um, basic tools. We still need to make a new crafting box which can go up in here and we need to make many more foundations and we need to put up walls and a roof and we're going to make it all nice and fancy but for now we have a place to sleep. We have something to drink. Look at that, we have some more. And we can make ourselves something to eat which is cooking as we speak. Two of them are already ready. We also get ashes out of it. That is something that we're going to need for crafting later. And of course you can always remove the fuel and that will stop it. Now let me have a look. I'm looking at uh, a little bit of food. Let me eat something. Use one of the first eight packs. Or let me try to sleep it off first. Maybe that works. Maybe it doesn't. So let's save the game. Day two. And it is well in the evening. Okay, guys, I hope that you enjoyed, and I hope that you're looking forward to see more here from Bermuda Lost Survival. It's a nice and a different style of survival game, and so far I'm certainly enjoying it the little bit I have played so far. I for sure do not know everything about the game, so if you do know it and have some hints and tips and tricks, please do let me know, because they will definitely come in handy much further than I got now. I didn't do. I did get the extra workstations etc up but more upgraded tools than they have now I didn't have yet so I'm not sure as to how it works and otherwise I will find it out. Thank you so much for joining and I'll see you guys for the next one with more Bermuda Lost Survival.